Something literally just like got over me in the middle of me about to get out of the car. My mouth is so dry. It didn't hit me until yesterday that I wasn't happy with being uh, a stay-at-home mom. It's so crazy because I was actually watching Zoe Allenby. I love Zoe. She uploaded a video recently about why she had to get a job. She gets a lot of inspiration from being outside and being in the house all the time. It became i guess like draining listening to the kids songs over and over again and always tending to your baby she's an extrovert she likes to be in the presence of others and have her life outside of just like being a mom i loved her vulnerability for posting that but after the video i felt as if like i'm not tired of that like i truly enjoy being a mom and listening to the kids songs all day and i would be fine if i didn't have to be in a work setting where i am engaging with a bunch of people because i am so much more comfortable um like in my own space until fucking yesterday i tried to work out some time blocking and try to plan my day so i could be more productive while also um watching sage but yesterday he was like i couldn't do anything i was driving around with him he fell asleep put him in the bed so i was like okay this is perfect i can get an opportunity to actually get some work done and plan my week and organize my life and he woke up literally 10 minutes later you see and while i'm saying all of this i feel a little bit selfish oh fuck it i have the right to say that i'm tired and just need a break sometimes so i can do things that i want to do do things that i'm passionate about like make videos like this so eddie's off from work i wanted to get up early this morning and go outside and do my meditation and then eat my breakfast start my day however sage woke up before i even got a chance to get out of bed he wanted to just be on my breast fed him next thing you know he fell back asleep and i took this opportunity while sage is sleeping to go to the gym and that's how i ended up here i am just going to release and clear my mind and work out because this is something that is on my time block list is to work out at least four times a week so like i said he's off this morning so i'm going to take this opportunity to get a workout in because this shit is mad stressful this is a day in the life of a vulnerable mom i'd be lying if i said it was easy this path i'm walking on oh, oh, oh. i've been crying out does anyone
myself really um so it just feels a little out of my element in our relationship we have like a great balance when we can both contribute like equally and i'm just super grateful to have him and just being able to help me out when i need to i can literally tell him anything that i'm feeling and he helps me to rationalize my thoughts he's literally like my freaking tv so Initially, I said I wanted to spend time together, which I'm sure we're gonna do later this afternoon. But this morning, it was more about me practicing self-care. So I'm not looking at y'all, I'm driving. And I didn't mean to continue doing this while I was driving, but I'm just like in a, in a zone. So he just basically told me like, take my time, like they're fine at home. So I'm just going to do things that I love, give back to myself because these are important for me to be a great mom and a great wife and in reality my goal or my purpose or what I really want to do my biggest mission is to be able to have time to spend with my family like my family I don't want to be at home with Sage and my husband is out working I don't want to be working and Sage is with somebody else like I want to be able to have quality family time as a family because they are the most important people to me and I just feel like I fell into a role that didn't necessarily serve me i enjoy being a mom and i enjoy being with sage because he's the sweetest person in the world but it was just a little draining on me to know that i couldn't do anything to better myself in the process yeah, i mean the whole end goal is for eddie and i to both i guess pursue our passions individually but together um so we can be able to not have to depend on somebody has to go work and clock in that's what I'm working on and the only way I can do that and almost slide out of this role is to take some time aside and to focus on some things that I want to do like this which is sharing my vulnerability and being able to inspire others so if I can even grow on this channel just by doing that it's like I just need the time to be able to to do this i'm just showing you guys my process because it's not easy so yeah i'm on my way to the farmer's market to get some soup for the week because tasha needs the meal prep so we'll see you at the market super i can't make it some soup that's what i really came here for my hair at the farmer's market eating cauliflowers i love these too that's a video. Yeah, yeah. I hate y'all so much. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna go home. Spend time with my family. Today's a really good day. I am loving it. I'm back home, you guys. So yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna just wrap this video up because I'm gonna use the rest of the day to just spend time with <sighs> Eddie and Sage. I got home and they're knocked out sleeping. So that's great. I can just go ahead and put away the groceries. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to 
just gonna enjoy the rest of the day with Eddie and Sage. I'm so glad that I was able to get out the house and hang out with Jazzy. I saw my sister at the market. I just had like good vibes today. Everything was just aligning beautifully. No complaints. I just feel good. And I'm glad that I have people that's in my corner that's there to support me. And not just people in my presence, but I know you guys too. Um, watching my journey and being able to see what I'm going through and journeying with me. And so I appreciate you guys too. But yeah, this is a day in the life of a vulnerable mom. I'm going to let this sun continue to come out and beat my skin. Put, um, and wait till my babies wake up. So... I'm just going to enjoy this moment for myself. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.